Hello, welcome back. So today I used three day trades on solo. I really liked the volume and I liked that it was a breakout on the one year chart. Hang on, I'm still learning this new double setup where it's two charts. No. So I'm going to scroll out as much as I can. Oops. So you see this little line is today. Solo has had a lot of volume in the past, 160 mil over here where it reached the sixes. So it's broken past 160 million volume resistance when it last broke out. Um, so I was mostly focusing on the um, one minute chart and the five minute. So I was focusing on the five minute more so because it makes more sense to me. I like looking at the green candles as indicators. And if I'm wrong for whatever reason, and at one point it even said trending downwards, right? So I just exit very as quick as I can, basically. So um, I'm really practicing that discipline of if it starts to trend downwards, I get out immediately. So um, this solo, right, it's bearish. It hasn't turned green yet, but it did do this signal indicator um, and I think this means that it's already completed its journey because today it did spike up to the eights. I was cooking breakfast here. Um, so I tried to catch like a secondary bounce and I liked that it was holding all above pre-market levels which is a very bullish chart for me. And so I tried to get in here. Granted, it was under VWAP, but I'm looking for a bottom, and I saw that these two candles had set up a nice bottom. It's higher than this bottom. Um, it confirms it here, and so I took an entry here, and it was green. And as soon as it came back down, I took a two-cent loss, so I was really proud of that. I was like, yes! I only lost $3 on that, and I was playing each, each time I traded today, I played with 250 shares. So then I got in, oh, wait, it's on my one minute chart. Hang on. Intervals, one minute. Um, so I'm trying to keep my risk within five cents, right? That's what I promised myself for November. I also wanted to move up in my share count a little bit, moving away from 200. So... Hello, Cassie. Watch out. Because F is going to jump. Okay, so on the one, I noted where I got in on a one minute chart, but really this was what I was following, right? Now I think it's starting to ramp up past the VWAP. But I got in here, you see, boom, 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 boom. It's confirming this bottom. So this makes sense to me, but then it pulled back. So I took a two cent loss on that. Then I saw it setting up again over here, or maybe it was like somewhere here but maybe it was a low candle um, and I had to get out because it was pulling back so I got in at like 624 somewhere around here and it started to pull back on me um, so by the time I got out it was 614 so or 613 so I took a nine cent loss and then I finally got in on this ramp over here literally within a minute it went from hey Af, leave him alone get back go up Go up, go up now. So um, I got in at 628, like right after I got out, I got back in. 628 and I got out at 650. So I made 22 cents. So I lost two cents, nine cents, and then I made 22 cents. So I'm up on the day $22. And I'm proud of myself. Um, I think it's okay to test uh, a stock, but it, what it's what is not okay for me is to sit and hold and hope and all this fucking bullshit. That's not okay because um, it's like there's no point in that, you know. So I'm super happy with my new trading style. It's just exiting very quickly, and I noticed. A bit of resistance around here you know it wasn't really I wanted to exit at like 669 6 and it was just really having trouble at 650 so I exited 
you know, as soon as I like felt some resistance in the stock, I was like, I've made 22 cents. This is good. I've made back all my losses. And that's not why I'm trading to make back my losses. I was trying to get a better entry point, which I did. So this is my trade for today. Super proud of myself. I'm getting my technique better. Um, and in terms of pattern, like why did I trade this? It's a one year breakout chart. It has massive volume. It's run in the past. Um, but it just doesn't have that push right now in the consolidation period um, to really ramp up again. Maybe in the afternoon it will, but I'm done with day trades until next week. Um, and that's it. I tried to get in on a bottom, tried to cut support, or tried to cut when my support dropped, you know. Um, and I think this is a much better system for me to trade with. Like, I don't feel stressed because I don't even have to think about it. Like, if the numbers... Like if I get in at 618 and the numbers start going to 616, I get out. Like it just doesn't make any sense. As soon as I touch the stock, it should be moving in the direction that I want, which is what happened here. You know what I mean? I don't need to wait 10 cents to see, oh, is it going to break my risk? No, that just means my entry point was wrong. It's such an easy fucking way to trade like this. It's just like, I don't even have to think. It's like if I touch the stock, am I right or am I wrong? For example, if I get in here because it's right near support, okay, cool. Okay, I got in at 617. Do you see how, it, okay, it still, it hasn't touched 617 yet. It's still trending upwards. I'm going to use this as an example. 617 was my entry. I'm watching it. It's still going upwards. Still going upwards. Still going upwards. So now I'm 10 cents in from my entry point, still going upwards. And I like looking at the five minute because um, it just, oh, see how it goes down to like 622? It's like wavering a little bit. Okay, 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 629, it's still got a push. 633. Okay, and I'm gonna sell at 6, 630. So my whole trade was from mentally from 617 until 630. The stock never went to 617 after my entry and that's how I trade. I like you understand? Like okay, another example. I just got in, I chased it. I got in at 633. I'm in at 633. This is trade number mental trade number 2. It's 632 right now. It's trending okay, it's still going. You get what I'm saying though? Like I really watch that price action. I think it's still continuing to uptrend because it's not really touching 632. But within a five cent range, okay, 632. If it goes to 631, okay, I'm out. You understand? Do you understand this game? That's how fucking easy I made it for myself. The minute I touch this fucking stock, it should do what I want. I'm not hanging around. You understand? You go on a date with somebody, they say, what would you like to eat? I would like to eat a hamburger. And they take you to a taco joint. You get the fuck out of there because they're not listening to you. When I touch this stock, it should do what I want. End of story. If I take a two cent, three cent, five cent loss, who the fuck gives a shit? I can always get back in because the goal is to have a $25,000 account where I can just fucking get in and get out. It doesn't fucking matter. You understand? I got it. I got it, bro. 